bus usually is here by 825, but for whatever reason, she was late again by 15 minutes. What is your name? My name is Bridget Lewis. Bridget L E W I S? Yes, sir. B R I D G E T? Yes, sir. Wait, tell me what happened this morning. About 8 30 this morning, my children were here getting ready to catch the bus. Usually about 8 25, the bus is here. Um, the bus, you know, failed to arrive on time. And uh, a car was coming from this street here, which is Pine Tex, went out to Oak Village, made a turnaround, came back parked right past that driveway in front of the vehicle there and the man got out of the car left his car door open and proceeded to approach my child and my other child my other son that was standing there along with his cousins and the other children that catch the bus generally there's about six or seven kids that catch a bus here every morning so they all know each other and they go to school well he then proceeded to ask my daughter what was her name what school she went to how old she was and the kids could just kind of all huddle together and, and just kind of moved further away from him and neither none of the kids responded to him. And, you know, he simply walked back to his car and got in and left. You know, we don't know what his intentions were. You know, I contacted the school today um, at 940, about 940 as soon as I got a message from my son and uh, telling me of what happened. You know, I, this is serious. Kids go missing every day. Kids get abducted every day. Um, I made it from the Galleria here by 1040. I sat down, talked to the principal at the school. She said, you know, we discussed it. They took statements from the kids. You know, we discussed, I told her my expectations. I wanted to, you know, see at least some presence of law enforcement out here, whether it be Umbel ISD police, you know, Houston Police Department, somebody, some sort of law enforcement, just to patrol the area, make the kids feel a little bit more secure and safe. You know, they have to get home from this bus. They have to walk. You know, broad daylight, things like this happen. You know, I asked for a call back. Let me know about the, you know, the bus driver. Why was she late? You know, let me know if they were going to be able to put PD out here. Somebody just to, you know, secure the kids. That, that's our, our goal. That's our responsibility is to make sure that they're safe. And, you know, I didn't hear back from them until 348 after I had put in a call to the superintendent's office. What were you told when you get called? Now, 348, the kids are already gone home from school, buddy. That's right. The kids were already gone. They dismiss at 250. They were already gone. They were already here. I picked them up from the bus because I said, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not taking any chances, not with my children and not with anybody else's children either. You know, they're all my concern. What did they tell you then? Uh, at, at that point, she told me I needed to contact, you know, Houston Police Department and make a report with them. But, you know, with them, I put a, I can't put a report because no nothing criminal no criminal activity was done, you know there wasn't any anything criminal done, you know and at the very least they gave me a number and asked me to call you know the substation and, and notify them and just ask them if they would amp up you know patrol out here. Now, how old your daughter? My daughter is 16. 16 and the other kids about the same age. 15, 16 years of age. Yes. What about the description on the vehicle or the, the male anything? The male, there were two males. One was a probably about five six black male, um, young between 19 and 21 years of age. The other one never got out of the car. The kids said that they noticed that he looked to be about 25 to 28 years of age. What about vehicle description? Um, the vehicle was a. They said they think it was a gray. They know it was a gray, but they're not sure of the make. It could have been a Honda or something similar of that nature, an older Honda. Car pickup SUV. Car. Four door, two door, do they know? Uh, they didn't, they didn't, okay. yeah. Now, which, which, which school does she go to? They attend Summer Creek High School. Okay, and the school bus picks them up at what time? Uh, generally, Monday through Wednesday, the bus comes about 625, um, but on Thursdays is their late arrival, and the bus should be here by 825 to pick them up. And this morning it wasn't here, though? It was not here. It was late. Did they tell you what the reason was for the bus being late? No, no, sir. They said they would call me or email me tomorrow with a response as to why the bus driver was late. Now, what about the, the district finally put a letter out? What time did that finally come out? The district put a letter out about 516 when I seen the email come through. That's what it's stamped as. So, hours, hours, basically hours after all this took place. Hours after all this took place. What about neighbors? Have they seen anything around here or heard anything out here? They haven't. You know, everybody pretty much keeps to themselves. Everybody's working families out here, you know. 
No one has, has seen or heard anything. The kids, I'm pretty sure, went home and told their parents what happened today here. How you doing, sir? What, you're not here. What's, what's, what's your name, sir? Joe. Joe, what's your last name? Lyman. L-I-E? L-I-M-O-N. You now, you live right here on the corner. You said you kind of watch out for these, this yes, intersection then? Yes, sir. Have you ever seen any suspicious out here? Or no, not really. I'm always looking out in the morning because my boy goes to the bus. He goes to 6.15. He's in the bus. I put him on there and kind of keep an eye on here because I know a lot of stuff going on. You know, but I'll be looking out for sure. Okay. Hard. Harder.